Hi guys, Paul here from Switched On and I just wanted to make a little video about five great looking games that are pretty much announced uh, for the Switch but still don't have definitive release dates yet. Now I'm not talking about Animal Crossing or Pokemon or anything like that here. These are some of the under the radar games that you may not have heard of but I think these are ones that you should definitely be taking notice of. So without further ado, let's crack on. Now Destiny isn't on the Switch yet, but one game looking to fill the gap is Shadowgun Legends. This is by Madfinger Games. Now, Madfinger are a lot like Gameloft on mobile. They release sort of quality games that borrow heavily from their larger console counterparts, and Shadowgun Legends was no different. Um, this game really does lean heavily on the Destiny series. It's an online multiplayer loot shooter, and it's got a massive single player campaign. Multitude of multiplayer modes. Try saying that late on a Saturday night. And even, um, it's got like a central hub area as well where you can wander around and chat to other players and there's shops and get your missions from there and all sorts of other good stuff. Just like Destiny, amazingly enough. Now, after spending uh, a lot of time in soft launch, it launched on mobile in 2018, um, in March, so early 2018 and was eagerly anticipated by mobile gamers as it just looked amazing. The graphics on this game are just incredible. It's one of the reasons I upgraded to an iPad Pro to be sadly honest, um, just to get this game to run better and it, it really is a really, really nice looking game. But yeah, it is basically a free to play mobile version of Destiny. And When it first came out, as I said, I put lots of hours in uh, both on the phone and the iPad using both touchscreen and an iOS controller that I had at the time. And although the grind got a bit much in the end and the free to play elements suck in these sort of games, uh, but gameplay wise, it wasn't quite as dynamic and open as Destiny is, but it's a really good approximation and of course that addictive loop of loot shooting, sort of upgrading, taking missions, buying new gear, going back out on harder missions and so on. Um, that was definitely there. So anyway, why am I talking about this on a Nintendo Switch video? Well, in June 2018, Madfinger announced that Shadowgun Legends was going to be coming to the Nintendo Switch soon, in inverted commas. Um, yay, everybody said. Well, I said. Um, they proclaimed it took only two days to have this up and running on a Nintendo Switch, although they did quickly kind of quantify that a little bit later by saying whilst it did take two days to get the game running, it's taken a lot longer, obviously, to, to pull all of the elements over. But since then, it's not really been a peep about Shadowgun. The, the Reddit page um, still has the question raised every now and again. And the last response I can see from the developers on there was that they still plan to bring it out in 2019, but there's still no idea of a release date yet. Nobody knows, really. I think it'd be a great game to get on the Switch, and it should do really well. And if they can get rid of some of the free-to-play elements and give it a premium price like Gameloft have done with Modern Combat, then yeah, I can see this doing massively well. So keep your eyes peeled on that one. Okay, bit of a change of pace for the next one, and then we're going to move on to This Is Paul. Now, ever since the Switch launched, I've felt there's two really underrepresented genres that I think could suit the system really well, and that's a realistic golf sim and a 3D pool or snooker sim. A few games have popped up, in the two years the Switch has been out, one of which Premium Pool Arena, which is a pool game, not a very good one. It's like a top-down 2D pool game. And there's a few other 3D pool games on the eShop as well, but they look just terrible, so I've not even bothered with those. So then, it was excellent news that Vufu Studios, and these are veterans of pool games such as Hustle Kings and Pure Pool, announced that they were bringing This Is Pool to a multitude of systems including the Switch at the back end of 2018. Now this game looks exactly what I've been wanting for the Switch, um, a really nice 3D pool game and Vufu always do really good pool games. And remember the PlayStation Vita version of Hustle Kings and whilst that didn't run great it did look nice for the time and it had some lovely online features including asynchronous play. Uh, I've chased it up with the developers of This Is Paul and they haven't confirmed that this version is going to have the asynchronous play and what I mean by that is you take your shot and then the other person gets alerted that it's their turn to take their shot 
and it doesn't have to be played in real time but I from what I've heard from the developers the feedback I've had is that's probably not going to make it over which is a shame but anyway this has been touted for a spring release and with all the nice weather this weekend I'm hoping we're going to be seeing this one sooner rather than later and personally I can't wait now before I get to the last two I'm going to throw in a bit of a random one here and that's 90s Super GP or as it was previously known 90s Arcade Racer Now this game's got quite the story and it's still listed by Nicalis on their website as coming soon to the Switch. So that's quite interesting. But anyway, now 90's Arcade Racer is a homage to Arcade Racers of, can you guess? Yeah, the 1990's. Now this was a Kickstarter game which launched way back in 2012-2013 time. It got a lot of attention from fans of games such as Daytona, Sega Rally, those sort of games from back in the day. And this development trundled on. It looks like to be a lone developer that was making it. Um, Nicalis got on board quite early on to help out. But the game was announced for most platforms at the time. And as the footage I'm showing in the background shows, it's running pretty nicely on the Wii U. And the release seemed inevitable. Now, according to the developer updates on Kickstarter, this game was ready to be released in around about 2016, the early part of the polishing, optimizing, doing some bug fixing. But then it just mysteriously disappeared for most platforms and just we had radio silence from, from then on. And uh, kicked up quite a storm with the people that had paid on Kickstarter to back this project. Now the story took another twist in mid-2017 when Nicalis announced the name change that I mentioned above. And that the game was now coming to the Nintendo Switch instead. But here we are some 18 months later and still no sign of the game. Now to me this game looks awesome as hopefully you can see in the background and I think it'd be a great fit for the Switch but you have to be realistic and can only imagine that this will now never see the light of day. And that's a crying shame. Okay more positive news next and that is the PC indie smash Slay the Spire. Now I've really been looking forward to talking about this game and been itching to get some news on a Nintendo Switch port but, but nothing announced so far. If you're not aware, this game took the gaming world by storm really, um, after a two year period of early access on Steam, came to an end at the start of 2019. Now this one is a deck building card game, it's got roguelike elements in it, and you take one of three characters for a series of rooms and boss fights ultimately, and you try and climb up the titular spire in search of fame and fortune. You have a branching path to get up to the top of the spire, so you can choose from a few options of what rooms you want to go to and each room has either like a random encounter or a merchant but mostly they have monsters that you have to defeat by attacking and defending using a hand of cards from your deck. You start with a basic deck at the start of every game and for every room you clear you pick up a handful of gold and you get the chance to pick a new card from a selection of three randomly displayed to you and add it to your deck. So as you climb up the spire clearing these rooms the deck's constantly improving and sort of key to this game is building your deck so the cards like synergize with each other and give you more power. It's, it's kind of a, a tricky game to explain but if you've ever played a deck building game sort of physically or one of the ones you know digitally like Hearthstone or something like that whilst it isn't exactly like Hearthstone um, it's that kind of thing sort of deck building and attacking other cards with your deck now I've been hammering this game on my Mac which is a platform I barely touch for gaming at the best of times but this one has me totally addicted um, the gameplay loop is amazing presentation is superb it's on point and it's one of those games that I think we're going to get on the Switch that really benefit from that long period of early access on Steam so bless the people that pay out early to get these games and sort of give good feedback to the developers because we end up with the best versions now this was revealed to be coming to the Switch in August of 2018, there was like a, an indie showcase but since then there's been very little news um, the developers Megacrit did say in an AMA on Reddit in January of this year that they were preparing to announce the console release dates of the game in the next couple of weeks in inverted commas um, but it's been nearly a month since then and there's still no news but keep your eyes and ears open on this one because once it comes out I think it will take the Switch by storm and I'll definitely be double dipping myself. Um, so if anyone else has played this on Steam, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Is this one of the best games around at the moment? And will you be double dipping for it on the Switch? 
Right, finally, and this one was also announced during that Nindis showcase in August of last year, and that's the 2D Minecraft alike Tororia, Terry the Terrier, Terrieria, Terrioria. Can never pronounce it correctly. Anyway, I think it's Terraria, and that's going to be coming to the Switch. Now, this is a procedurally generated 2D survival and crafting game, very much like a 2D Minecraft, as I said. I'll admit, I'm not a massive fan of this one personally. Um, but it sold apparently 26 million copies across all its platforms, which is pretty impressive. And it's just one of those games that I'm wrong about, I guess. I'm not sure what it is I don't really like about this game. Uh, I think I find the 2D quite restrictive compared to the vast open 3D worlds of Minecraft. I don't know, it just doesn't seem as much fun as a 3D game to me. But like I say, it's crazy popular. And I'm sure it will do amazingly well once it comes to the Switch. But when is it coming? Well... Like I said, it was announced in that August Nindy's presentation, and all we know is it's being published sometime in 2019 by 505 Games. The original estimate was Q1 of 2019, but it's obviously a massively complex game, so nobody's saying for sure at the moment how far into 2019 it's actually going to land, but obviously it's going to be one that a lot of people are going to be excited for. You know, 26 million people can't be wrong, so... I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that are going to be looking forward to this one as well. I hope you enjoyed that look at some of the upcoming Switch games. Um, drop me a comment below if you're going to pick any of these up or maybe if you're looking at any other games that have got release dates that we're waiting for. Personally, I'm looking forward to getting release dates for Grid Autosport and Killer Queen Black as well unfortunately has been pushed back to late summer apparently but seemed to be in quite a playable state but they're obviously still polishing that one up but that's going to be a cracking online game when that comes out but anyway thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and please consider subscribing and drop me a like below be so kind of you and i will wish you a happy saturday see you on the next video cheers bye